right. Well, uh, thank you very much. First off, I'd like to thank my family, my girls that are all at home right now, that they couldn't make it tonight because of the commitments. But uh, I'd like to thank them for being with me throughout, you know, the NFL career and coming to Detroit and, uh, and for us staying here. We think the state of Michigan is a great state. Uh, it's a great football state, too. Even though I come from Nebraska, but uh, hey, Nebraska's good football too. So um, I would like to thank Gridiron Greats. You know, I come a little, little embarrassed almost on the fact that I really didn't know that much about it until I started investigating, started looking into it, and I'm like, wow, they do a lot of good things out there. And I tell you what, there is nothing more than the support that we give for this organization, especially for uh, former players. And I want to thank all the former players that are here also. Without your work, what you did out there, I did not have the job I had when I was playing and the current guys who are out there playing. It was your guys' sacrifices. It was your guys' out there working um, to help us to have a great job that we did when we were playing. Um, it's pretty interesting you talked uh, earlier. Um, I came from the University of Nebraska. We had a really good season that year. We had a lot of great players. Um, I kind of got overlooked. Um, I didn't get invited to the combines. And they came to uh, our place and uh, did some tests, and I ran pretty well. And next thing you know, I'm flying out to different teams, Green Bay, Detroit, the Raiders. And, and everybody's kind of looking at me going, all right, we didn't notice you before. We, we kind of like what you're doing now. And the offense coordinator at Nebraska, or not Nebraska at the Lions said, well, you know, this is before the draft. He goes, well, we want you to do, you know, you're not going to run the ball. You're not going to catch the ball. All we want you to do is block for number 20. Well, when it came draft time, they finally drafted me in the sixth round and um, had the opportunity to try and block for number 20 because that's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And But it was a great honor to play for a guy who would make 11 guys miss, do some type of spins and stuff like that, score a touchdown, hand the ball right back to the ref without making a big deal about it. Just knowing that, well, I'll probably be back in here again, so why get too excited about it? And there was nothing better than having us go to other stadiums and having more Detroit Lion jerseys because of that guy. And you know what? He was, uh, I thought he was a great man outside of football also. But um, my rookie year when I was drafted, um, we had a little goal line play. and. And, you know, I was a rookie, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, you know, we got this great linebacker across there, and, you know, like, all right, we called the play, and, you know, it's he and I, and, you know, it was, you know, number 54, uh, Chris Spielman. I'm like, all right, this is going to be pretty tough here. So I went out there, and bam, got him pretty good. I'm thinking, all right, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> Run it again. Boom, did it again. Third time, all right, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. And it wasn't until film that, that evening where we're all watching film and we're getting to that part of it. All of a sudden, I hear pounding on the walls. Yeah, that was great. You know, I was like, what's going on here? Well, then we got to the clip and there was like three plays that I was able to, uh, you know, get Spielman pretty good. And that's when I made the Lions team. So that was, uh, thank you for Chris Spielman and also for him giving me the nickname Anvil. So, because uh, he was just like, that kid just keeps coming at you, this, that head. He just keeps coming like an animal. He just keeps pounding and pounding and pounding, and it will just don't break. So I would like to thank Chris for that. And, uh, you know, thank you very much for this organization. You know, this is great. Um, it's, you know, I don't think people really understand how, you know, sacrifice we do over our bodies that, uh, you know, we're going to need the help later on. And this organization is doing great things for us. So thank you very much.